Set. Good boy. Set. Yes. Good boy. Today we've had our ups and downs. Our ups in the morning, we did training, it went well. Um, the moment that we got back to the station, I was taking him out of his backpack. Guy that came up to him, I couldn't see the dog that was behind this dude. And then immediately as this dog passed by, Abby fucking lost his shit. This guy backs up because he's like, oh, this dog's fucking crazy now. I'm like, oh my God, this is so embarrassing. Mira este. ¿Le ves? Uh -huh. Chimoso. Oh, look. Look how big look. Le gusta. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. So she says your timing's really good. Yes. Yes. Sí. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Oh, it was just, it was really good. Now, I'm going to meet up with Nalu in like an hour and a half. So I got to get ready like now. Also, like he's definitely still tired. So I want to use this time. Like, okay, well, bye. Um, because yeah, separation anxiety, that's still something else. I also want to give a really big thank you to my friend Grace because she was translating every single class. Like she came all the way to freaking Shinsa. I know she says, she was like, you know what? Uh, I'm doing this and hoping that, you know, Albie has a forever home with you. It's definitely paid off for both of us, like Albie and myself. But I also want to say, Grace, if you're watching this girl, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Like, shit, I should have asked you like from the get and I should have just gone with you to these classes from the get because things would have been a lot different. But you know what, we're here now and we're working through them. But thank you so much for your help and everything. I appreciate it so much. So does this boy, even though he's tired. Are we? <gasps> Say thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. Look at me. Yeah, good boy. Look at me. Yeah, good boy. Yes, good boy. Anio, Anio. She going. Good boy, Albi. Focus. Oh, good boy, Albi. That's okay. Training, yeah. Tra oh. uh, Albi, sit. Albi, it's okay. It's okay. Focus. Okay, you did well. You did well, Albi. You stopped yourself midway. That's good. Went off at like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I was like, great. That means all these pets are gonna be outside. Before we went outside, I just picked them up just in case, you know? We went outside, there's like someone with the cat, but I was like, okay, um, let's just like walk away, bro. And by the time we come back, I still see that there's some people at the elevator and I'm just like, okay, I'm just gonna wait off to the side, right? <sighs> I looked at my phone for like a second. Because now like everything is fine. I don't know why people still are leaving, still are leaving their houses, but here comes this one person coming out with their dog. Abby went fucking ballistic. He has this like vendetta against this one dog because every time he sees him, he just goes like batshit crazy. And like also that dog is very reactive as well. So he's like doing like those high pitched noises. I was like, oh my God, it's like two o'clock in the morning now. So I just like walked him around to get him like kind of settled. I'm like seeing like, hey, can I go back inside? Like is the coast clear or whatever? So I just like picked them up just in case, right? And then of course, right at that moment, the other person with the dog is also coming back and just hearing like the jig their collar I'll be like fucking lost it and I was like great so I walk him out away from the building and I'm just like okay cool off smell some shit pee on some stuff and I see that there's already people waiting at the elevator but so, like it looks like the elevator like maybe someone is coming down so I was like I'd rather be safe sorry again let's go off to the side so I could just like keep a, a lookout couple with their dog of course their dog is on a very loose leash is also like walking much ahead of the couple sees alby and that dog is also very reactive and it's like bah, 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 bah. and then alby automatically is like bah, bah. they like leave and i was like great i go into the elevator now it's like free doors are closing this fucking couple 
is like, okay, let's go in now. And then of course, still letting their dog on this loose ass leash. So like, he kind of just like, even though Albie can't see him, dog sees me. So he's already like running towards the the closing doors and he's like, wah, wah, wah. and then Albie's fucking like losing his shit. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> why, why, why? Didn't really make me feel good. That night when I when I got home, I was just was like very in like commander like sit wait hit, 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 hit. and like he just got it. He was like, okay, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And ever since then, his heel command has been really really good. I definitely see him being more calm now and restraining himself a lot more, which is so amazing to see. And I definitely feel so much more confident when I'm walking with him. So we saw a couple dogs along the way. But then there's this one dog that, of course, is Ajima, this old lady. She's like holding this dog. And in the moment that dog sees Albie, it just goes, wow, wow. And of course, the owner is just like, oh, no, stop. And like Albie like saw that he heard that. And I thought, oh my God, that's it. Immediately he's going to start barking. But he like was holding himself. He was like, and I had him in a sit in a way. He didn't bark back. He didn't bark back. He was like, no, I'm good. Give me my treat, girl. Really just taking in all the winds and I, if there's a time where he's acting a fool, I'm just like, okay, you know what? It happened. Let's just keep it moving. Whatever. That's, that's just the mentality I have to keep reminding myself that I need to have. <laughs> Albie! Hi, Albie! Albie's pretty tired, but I know he's gonna recuperate in like two seconds. I was gonna like put on some nice makeup, maybe do my hair to go out and meet my friend. Gotta set my priorities, so I'm just gonna have a cute outfit, no makeup. <laughs> From what I've seen is that when I've left him and I don't leave any treats, any toys or anything like that, he's kind of like, huh? Confused, and then he goes and sits down and lays down. When I do leave something, that's when he knows that I'm leaving. What what I've done beforehand is that I did like five days where I didn't leave anything out, and basically on like the third day, he got the idea like, oh wait, that doesn't mean she's coming back right away. She's actually leaving, and then he started freaking out. So then I started bringing in the toys again. Every day is a experiment. Today, I don't really know how long I'm gonna be out. So I don't want to leave him with like nothing. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, he's laying down. <laughs> So the fire alarm went off. I already knew. I was like, the big dogs are going to come out. Albie's going to, you know, throw a fit. Just be ready. Don't get surprised like last time. I basically stood away for like the whole time. I get the word from the firefighters like, hey, it's okay to go up. And so then we're walking towards the elevator and... I, this time I was like, Natalie, be prepared. There might be a motherfucking dog there. So I told him, sit, wait. And I go and I look at the elevator. There's no one there. Albie breaks his weight because he fucking smells something. And I don't see what he sees. But then he starts barking, barking his head off. And I was like, motherfucker, 
motherfucker. There's like a small little crack. And then you could see that there was the golden retriever that was there. And I was like, oh. And he didn't even see like his face. He just sees like his butt or something. He already motherfucking knows. He already smells him. However, I managed to get him in a sit and a wait. Or at least I managed to like calm him down midway because the last time he just went like ballistic and no matter what like treat, he was like, wah, 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 wah. okay, I'll take that as a win. I see that he's still like, Phew. and he keeps like looking to another side. So then I turn around and there's the border collie from last time. Oh, the reactive border collie. I was like, oh my God. But luckily their owner sees me. So then she backs away. But then Albie still manages to like keep his cool. And so I was like, okay, great. But now I know, okay, next time I got to check not only where the elevator is, but also where the parking lot area is. However, I will say the EMTs were there blocking my view. So I couldn't even check anyways. So yeah, they were doing their jobs. But I'm just, I'm letting y'all know, you know. Okay, come. Good boy. Good boy. Our like second walk of the day yesterday we were walking on the right side of the road and then i see like a, a dog like right as we're approaching the corner so i immediately like took a treat to his nose and i was like come over here so i went across the street now at this point i could have really walked away but i was like oh let me take this opportunity so that he can learn and clearly like that other guy is like across the street right with this fucking dog he just goes like right past us and i'm like are you fucking kidding me? You do you not see your fucking dog? Maybe at that moment I should have just like walked away with him, but I honestly did not think that this owner was gonna be dumb enough to just completely walk right past us. And then he's just there like pulling his dog along. He's not saying anything. He is not saying like, no, he's not saying come here. He's just fucking walking, pulling his dog along. Do you not use your brain? Like I don't wanna make a general statement about Korean dog owners because I have met other Korean dog owners that have been like really good, but majority of dog owners that I've seen do not know anything about their dogs. They don't train their dogs at all to ever. And I was talking about this with my sister and I was like, girl, the amount of freaking dogs that I've met that, that they're yapping away, they're doing this and that and their owners do not care. She, she lives in LA. It's like anytime I'm walking my dog and then you have all these yapping dogs around, the owner's always like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so, so sorry. Girl, I wish I could have gotten a sorry. The only time I've ever heard a sorry was because it was coming from my mouth. Because I'm the one that's saying, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that my dog barked. So today in this morning's walk, other owner with this small dog. And that owner, I really appreciated her because she already knew that her dog is like reactive. And that dog like kind of barked at him. Luckily, Albie didn't react. I reward him for that. Um, and then at some point, she actually brought the dog inside the like, little park. And I can tell Albie was way too alert about this dog like his ears are like perked up sometimes he would listen to me sometimes he wouldn't so then i knew okay if he's not listening to me now and he's not like face to face with this dog there's no way he's going to be able to listen to me if if he does see that dog leave on a good note we walked away again i see like this little poodle and the poodle looks really happy and everything so i was like okay you know what let's try walking past this dog and instead of having him in a sit and wait i i tried to do a leave it and we just walked and he did amazing. I was like, leave it, give him a treat, leave it, give him a treat. He, he was able to like walk past. I mean, granted, I had to like give him treats, but he was able to do it. So I was like, oh my God, it's okay. Um, by my house, it's a dog cafe. And so the construction is like, you know, clanking, banging and stuff. And so all those dogs in that dog cafe started barking. Instead of just like pulling him away, which I think that would have made him stress and he would have started barking. Instead, I had him in a sit and wait. And then when I thought he was okay, I'd be like, back, 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 heel. And then when I would see that he, you know, didn't fully do the heel, then I would do the whole process again. Um, to when eventually I told him to heal and we were able to leave. So I was like, yay! The first walk was good. So hopefully the next two walks will be just as good. we ran into a almost little situation like he's been doing well with not barking at dogs and i'm like i don't want anything to fuck it up we were walking in that little park as i called the lion's den because during daytime not a lot of people would normally walk their dogs or so i thought so we saw like a couple dogs he did well so i was like great then it was a lady 
pulling her little dog stroller for her little Bichon. She takes the dog out of the stroller. She puts it down and of course the dog just like walks away and she's like, oh, come back, come back. And I just immediately pick up Albie because I'm like, I'm not letting this fool bark at this dog. Like, no. And like, maybe he would have been okay. Maybe. But I don't know. Because he's been doing well, I don't want any other little incident to fuck it up. When I picked him up, it wasn't like his heart was beating like super fast and he was like, what the hell is happening? He was kind of like, okay. And even when I put him back down after the owner put the leash on because it didn't have a leash, told the lady like, put that shit on the leash. The dog was like pretty close and he still like managed to keep his cool. So that was really great. Um, didn't want to take any chances, but yes.